Hey, I'm Angry Bill for Pre-Hospital Wisdom. Uh, I got a quick scenario for you. Let's say you go on an unconscious party. He's unresponsive, uh, in a car, uh, respiratory rate about four pinpoint pupils. We can even go so far as say a needle still in his arm. To give him Narcan, uh, you wake him up. Give him the right amount of Narcan so he's not withdrawing and feeling horrible. Uh, he doesn't want to go to the hospital. He is refusing transport. At this moment, when he's refusing transport, he's oriented times four, completely with it, has complete decision-making capacity. And you explain to him your concerns about uh, uh, repeat administration of Narcan and, and heroin lasting longer than Narcan does and all of the overwrought concerns that you have and he's still refusing. Can he refuse? Should he be allowed to, to refuse? Not only that, is it safe to refuse? Well, this has been looked at for a long time. Vilke in 2008 uh, did a retrospective study of all medical examiner cases uh, for uh, Narcan use over the last five years, uh, comparing them to opioid deaths. So everyone that got Narcan and refused was compared to a medical examiner's list uh, uh, looking for, for uh, death records associated with opioid deaths. There was no overlap. Uh, Wampler, in 2000, uh, Wampler in 2011 found no deaths. Levine in 2016 took LA Fires, uh, Narcan administration, respiratory rate less than 12 uh, and refused. That's 205 patients, search coroner's records, uh, found none. There's extremely low short and intermediate term mortality according to the study authors. Uh, Ashburn in 2020 did find on the other hand though that one year mortality has risks, but essentially what they're finding is that opioid addiction is a rough road to uh, follow. Finally, Zuzula in 2022 is a fairly recent one, took 1,600 encounters. Uh, this is before Narcan take-home programs and stuff like that. Found an increased risk of repeat encounter for non-fatal overdose, but found no uh, associated deaths associated with it. So it seems like Narcan refusal is safe, especially if you give them an extra little bump of I am Narcan in the arm uh, to absorb slowly, or even uh, uh, they have access to, to home Narcan. So um, I don't think it's a medical legal ethical question. I think just giving Narcan does not give up someone's rights to autonomy and decision making. What do you think I'm interested? This is Angry Bill for Pre-Hospital Wisdom. Until next time, stay safe.